Welcome everyone. In this Kubernetes and CK80 tips number seven, we will be talking about configuring kubectl context. You might be using same terminal to work against multiple Kubernetes clusters. And inside, even inside multiple Kubernetes clusters, you might be working against multiple namespaces. So how do you ensure that you do not have to switch so frequently, but set some of the things? So let's understand that side of the story where we can set our environment, um, the working environment for kubectl to work on a certain area of a Kubernetes cluster. So let's understand those commandlets. So it's important to really understand what exactly we are trying to do. So uh, to start with, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share my this thing, and I have access to now two Kubernetes cluster. And the kubectl is sort of like configured, so you know that you can actually get the, the kube config file in your local folder, and as soon as you get, you have access to the Kubernetes cluster. It uses a certificate, and then that certificate is available within the home directory uh, .cube folder right and the config is the file so if you go into home and then you find dot cube you will find that however from cube cuttle so i have aliased the cube cuttle as alias k equals to cube cdl so i've done that so once you have that then you can use this k command and one of the commands inside the K um, that is kubectl is config. So if you just hit enter, you see what all sub commands you have, right? So you basically have got a um, lot of different commands. So let's start with the bottom one, which is the view. So I want to view this um, uh, kubectl and see, let's say K config view. If I view it, you can see that I have got two contexts. One is the WGAKS, which is basically uh, Azure Kubernetes cluster. And I have got a context called Minikube, right? So that's my local installation. So I basically have got access to two uh, clusters. So this is not very uh, readable, though it is in YAML. But let me bring some better view. So if you say kconfig view, that brings the list of uh, everything, right? That YAML context. If you say get clusters, it'll show you. Um, I think. Um, let me just change this config. That's a spelling mistake. Get clusters. Okay. If I do that, then you can see that you have got two clusters available: Minikube and WGAKS. And if you say that instead of get cluster, if you say get context, right? And you will see that I have got two context. And the current context is indicated by a star or a strix marks. Right now, I am in Minikube. So if I do k get nodes, it will show you the Minikube nodes. If I switch to the cube, um, the AKS cluster, then it will show you the AKS node. So if you have to switch to the other uh, context from the Kubernetes using the kubectl, how do you do that? You say k config. So always do k config, the kubectl config. And then if you don't know exactly what to do, just say help. And then you can see that there is a command called use context. So if I do this and say use context, and then the context name is WGAKS. That's the context I now have switched to. Now if I say K get nodes, this will show me all the nodes from the AKS cluster. If I want to switch back to the Minikube context, I have to just say Minikube and it'll go to the Minikube context. And if I say K get nodes, now I will see the Minikube nodes, not the AKS. So I can switch between the context. So if I am working on multiple clusters, I can basically use the same terminal to switch between. Another important thing is that if, let's say, you are working on a namespace that's a 
production namespace. So let's say that you have created a namespace called prod. Okay. Now you are, want to create everything inside this prod namespace. So when you say k run and then create a container or, or a pod, it basically goes into the default uh, namespace because that's how uh, Kubernetes by default works. So if you say k config view, and you will see that um, the minikube context, the minikube, the cluster minikube, and the context minikube has got a default namespace called default. Okay. Now, if you want to change this default namespace to the prod namespace, which you had just now created, you can use something like k. So let me just clear this up. K config set context. Right now, I'm in minikube. Remember that. So I can use dash dash current, or you can just give the name called minikube. So that will actually you know, set the context, uh, and you can even set the context of WGAKS without switching to that context, right? So for example, right now I'm in minikube context, and I want to change something in the AKS cluster. I can use the name of WGAKS and then provide that additional information. And one of the things I can pass on is the namespace. Okay, and then you just say prod. That's the namespace I created. Now, what happens if you say k config view, you will get to see that in the minikube context, now the default namespace is no more default, but it is prod. Now, the benefit is that if you are k get uh, k config get context you will see that right now i am in the minikube that's my current context and the namespace it is showing as prod because that's what i explicitly have mentioned now what happens when i say k run busy and image is busy box this will create a pod inside that namespace. Now you say k get pod, right? You will see the busy box pod created. And if you just mention dash a, which means all namespaces, you will see that inside the prod um, namespace, the busy container got created. In fact, there is an error. It's a crash loopback. It will keep restarting because I did not specify the flag called restart never. So that's what the default names. And it's very convenient because otherwise what you need to do is you need to say run busy to image busy box dash dash namespace prod if you are in other namespace and trying to create an object in another namespace you have to explicitly mention the names. Not only that you have to also get the value of an object from another namespace by providing the namespace name. So for example, if you are in default namespace, then what you can do, you can say k get pods, and then you say dash n or dash dash namespace, and then say prod. And this will get you the, the pod from that specific namespace. Instead of you typing again and again the namespace, which is kind of, um, Kind of repeat activity and you can avoid that by changing the configuration value and that's why it is so important that you understand the cube cuttle config and one of the ways to is to leverage the the inbuilt help and if you just type and do nothing right and you can see that the config is generally inside your home directory dot cube and config file and everything gets appended into that file so the moment you get the configuration detail it gets appended and hence you are able to do that you can delete a context so for example if you don't like a context to be present so for example i say that i don't want to work on the context like wgks no more required because that project is over right so you can say k config delete context Right, so you can just say delete context, and you can say that what is the context name AKS, and then it gets deleted from not only from um, this, so it will you will see that view will not have any context called WGAKS. So 
you find that information right so for example if you say k get k config get contexts You know, I would say only Minikube, that's no more the WJK is, is present because I have deleted that, right? So that's all from my side about config. It is important to understand how you want to work on uh, that specific component.